All right, hello everybody. It's me, Colin, back with another um, shave tonight. Tonight I will be exploring a uh, soap company that I've used before and that I really like. Most of y'all really like it too without knowing that you like it. Um, and that's Sphinx. I believe they're called Sphinx Beard Company. Um, but this is made by Ariana and Evans. This is Kaizen uh, formula. This soap is called Ecstasy. Um, it, uh, hold on, sorry, I have a little visitor that needs to go. Um, Cause see, she doesn't like to be on camera, but she likes to knock the camera over. Okay, visitor gone. Um, the scent on this is excellent. Um, I think they named it Ecstasy. It says it's named after some um, cologne that's called Ecstasy, I believe, or Elysium, something like that. But one of the ingredients in this, in the fragrance oil, is... Um, brain just went blank. I need the name it till I was going to say it. But it's one of the, it's when, when people take ecstasy, there's a, something in the brain that gets released, um, heliotrope or something like that. Um, or maybe that's a fragrance that's in here is a heliotrope. But when you smell it, it releases the same chemical in your brain. Um, and it's a, um, it really is a when you take a deep sniff of it and just kind of smell it um, it's a very very almost sexually arousing scent it, it's hard to describe it's really odd um, it's not like boing, I got a erection. It's just, it's very sense heightening, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but I have the uh, matching splishity splash. For bowl, I'm going to be using my Twin Pines bowl that is not finished yet. It doesn't have the sticker on it. Um, I asked him not to do that because I'll be sending this to. Uh, get my logo put in it and he asked to not have the bottom finish so it's easier for him to hold on to it and then once my logo is done um, the sticker would put on and resin in um, and then I'll be using my brush guy brush that I just recently got from I believe Melvin Morales uh, when I got the knot uh, it was pretty scritchy feeling to me um, so I gelled it uh, slightly, um, but this bowl is Twin Pines wood turning. It's they said it's teal, pearl, and pink. You don't see much pink on the outside. Um, every now and then it pops through, but it's very light on the inside. You could see it somewhat. Um, for razor, like I said, I will be. You'll see this for the next few nights on shaves because I am given this, um, I'm given this every chance. I'm going to use it for the next four nights um, to make sure before I make any decisions. Um, because I'm not saying that it's like a bad shaver and so it's going to go. Um, it's just been kind of difficult for me to load, but the tonight when I loaded it, I did the same thing I did with the Claymore. That was when I unscrewed this. And by the way, I keep a washer on the bottom of mine. I don't know if y'all do too. All I did was I trimmed the edge and when I put it on, I circle it to the left. So when you tighten it, it pulls that flat spot around to where the um, lather channels are. But when you loosen it, if you just push up, it lifts your lid so that way it's easier for me to grab onto it. 
So that's what I did. So that solved that problem. <clears throat> now if I could just figure out how to keep this thing from feeling slippery in my hand, um, I'll be good. I really wish this thing would thread onto other handles, but it won't. But let's get on with the shave and uh, hopefully um, I, I get some redemption from it. And I have some brushes to show tonight, like this one that I got in. Uh, this is my AP Shave Co. Uh, with the, I believe that's a penguin on it, uh, with a shave brush in his hand. This is the Jaguar Ebonite brush. Uh, it said it was 70 millimeters tall, but if I remember correctly, the math said that 70 millimeters is two and a half or 2.75 inches. Um, uh, maybe this is 2.75 inches, but it sure, it sure feels small because this brush is, this handle is three inches. And I think this is more like two and a half inches, but it's very comfortable. Um, not complaining. It's definitely a keeper because it's beautiful. Um, I just wish it was taller, but AP Shave Co. doesn't make tall handles. And then when they do, they tend to be so skinny that it's awful. I might reach out to him and see if he can make one that's taller. Um, you know, it's definitely going to be a price difference, but... It'll be worth it because that ebonite's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, never had an ebonite brush before. Uh, but let's get on with this shave. Um, yeah, these tips feel so much better now that it's been gelled. They're not so scritchy. And this knot, whatever it is that's in it, felt really empty. Um, it wasn't... Uh, High density knot um, and it might only be a 24 millimeter if it's a 26 it'll be surprising but it's a bulb um, but it just felt really um, felt like a cheap knot um, And so I gelled it because uh, knots that aren't high density, gelling it um, you know besides besides uh, softening the tips, gelling a knot uh, makes it feel more uh, dense. Now let's give this shave number two. And this also has a, um, tonight it has a second use um, feather professional blade on it. Um, and I'm still in shock because last time I used a Claymore and honestly it is like, I think it's almost nine o'clock. It is after nine o'clock at night and um, my stubble is still pretty low. Uh, Claymore super efficient. Um, but I can tell you right now, uh, new blade makes all the difference. Um, Um, you know, not once have I ever said that I hate this razor because I don't. Um, To me, what happened with this razor, um, 
It's kind of like when you see all the movie previews and this movie looks super, super good. Um, and then you go to the movie and you realize all the good parts of the movie were in the preview and it's a big letdown. Um, this razor isn't a letdown. Um, I think it's just been so... hyped um, that to me um, like the Enoch say is here Hawk A plate is here right um, and so the Claymore is here right I was expecting the vector to be like here because of all the hype when in reality it's like here or maybe even here as far as shave efficiency blade feel um and that goes now as far as um slim head um this has beats every razor 100 percent hands down no questions asked no arguments um slimmest razor head um probably in the known universe uh you could probably travel with captain kurt to and not find a razor head any slimmer um And when you actually take a moment to appreciate the vector and look at it um, for the work of art, it actually is. This stuff is so freaking good. Um, when you actually stop and Those of y'all that have the vector, if you actually take the time to look at this thing, and when you turn it, look right here how this cap, the top cap and this cap are so perfectly machined, the angles, but then when you come around the corner, this angle changes, but this little teeny tiny corner on the top cap, the angles going diagonally and everything are perfectly aligned. Um, the angles on this razor, um, Architecturally, this thing is freaking just, it's beautiful. It, this is a true um, work of art. This is a absolute beautiful, beautiful razor. Um, the handle is very, um, I'm gonna call it feminine. Um, but I say that not in a demeaning way or anything, but it's very much shaped, very, um, it's a very sexy handle. Um, uh, it very much reminds me of the curves of a woman or the curves of a modern, um, 
piece of art. It, it's just beautiful, you know. Um, Shane at Blackland. Um, this thing is absolutely freaking stunning. And, you know, there's not many of my razors that I've actually stopped to look at and study. And I'm just kind of like, wow. Um, but this has definitely been one of them. Um, now, if you look at his, if I could find it because I'm, I don't have my glasses on. Um, but even when you look at his, you know, his Blackbird, it's the same way. You know, now I know that this was designed to be sleek and sexy and reminiscent of the SR-71 Blackbird um, with its, its shaping, um, its aerodynamics, um, and everything else. But even here... If you look at these, when I was polishing this, I noticed all these angles and just how perfectly everything lines up. Um, Shane's razors, uh, people have been kind of like, well, what's taking so long on the era? If the era is going to be anything like these, um, that's what's taking so long, is that Shane... Um, Puts his heart and soul in these things. And it is very apparent that he isn't um, going to put something out that isn't up to his standards. You know, because he easily could have put out, you know, I don't know how many versions he's created now that he hasn't been happy with. Um, but... Um, The vector with a new blade uh, is definitely changing my mind from the first shave with a blade with 10, 11 shaves on it. So, and I knew it, that first shave wasn't um, a fair experience to give it a fair review. And that's why I said I'm going to use it for the next four shaves before I really... Um, give an honest opinion on it. Um, and that's because, like I said, when you look at the quality of his work, just like with charcoal goods um, and Carve and these companies that are being made by the people and... Um, They're not being outsourced somewhere. Um, it was unfair to just write this thing off and say, no, it's not for me. Um, because even on my first show, this was never a razor that I could honestly say it's not good enough to stay in my den because it was. Even on an 11th use blade, it was. Um, but people that know me, if something doesn't seem to wow me right away, it doesn't stay in my den. Um, but since I've started my channel, I can't really just be getting rid of everything all the time like I used to. Because uh, who wants to watch a channel that the guy has, you know, five razors? Um, 
y'all want to watch something with variety and new stuff coming in. Um, which, speaking of that, I have a um, Frank and Lime. Um, it was supposed to be delivered today, but now it's going to be Tuesday. Um, so we'll be doing a shave with that when it comes in. Um, also, I have Kent David on the way. Um, I have a new Smiles for Miles brush. We will be doing a shave. Actually, I have two that we will be doing shaves with. Um, I have... Um, um, what else do I have? Um, I finally put a knot in some of my handles, so I'll be using those. Um, I put a Sinbad knot in an AKA brush, so I could use that. Um, put the Miss Piggy knot. I had a, um, I had to drill this deeper. Um, with a Forstner bit to set this knot deeper because it was it's a really tall knot. Um, but yeah, so I got that set, and then um, my Opus. Um, I forgot what this one's called. What's that chess piece called? Uh, um, Bishop, I set 28 millimeter um, knot on that. I got an rich man uh, with the Ultralux. And uh, yeah, so I'll be using this. Um, and I got in this, this one um, is a beauty. It's a grizzly and I got it cause like the colors are pretty cool. Well, when I got it, it's like my colors. It's Pelagic Shave color, so this one will never ever be leaving. Um, and this one will be getting uh, a Tsunami Knot, because uh, that one's just freaking awesome. Um, oh yeah, and check out this bad sucker I got on. I got uh, <clears throat> this from Smiles. Um, he named, he called this one Jerry, um, from Jerry, uh, Garcia. It has this little baby coin in there, but it had a matching, um, uh, tie-dye brush, and he puts a little ball bearing in there. Um, and so I got this, and when I use this one, I'll probably change the head out to, um, a different head, um, and use that, but that came out awesome. Then, of course, you know, the Jaguar Ebonite is insane. Um, but so far, this uh, vector is really, um, with a new blade, it has upped its game. Now, um, it is the vector I can easily see being a daily driver. Um, because it has good blade feel, um, it has decent efficiency, um,
Sorry, I have to flatten out my double chin there to But yes, it has uh, really nice blade feel. It's very comfortable. Seems to have decent efficiency. Um, yeah, so with a new blade, it's definitely um, a different feeling razor, um, which I knew it would be. Um, it definitely feels like a keeper. Um, you know, it, it's definitely different. It's nowhere near as efficient and blade feely as a Claymore is, which is okay. That's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm just saying, you know, that's like saying that a Mercury 34C isn't as efficient and blade feely as a dart. Two totally different razors. Um, but let me get cleaned up and I'll be back with you. All right, we're back. Uh, let's go over what we use today. Today we use Sphinx Beard Company Ecstasy, which is Kaizen base made by Ariana Evans. Absolutely delightful soap. Um, we use my Twin Pines wood turning bowl. Um, and in here, you can see the pink very lightly. It's so, I think it really got lost in here. Um, but I just love this bowl on the colors of it. Um, and so I snatched it up. They said they were gonna stop making resin bowls. So I bought like four of them. Um, the last four, they, well, they had like a few more on their website. Well, then Don made, he had one custom that he had still been working on that he had told Logan he was going to do. Um, and it hadn't, it just hadn't worked out. And so he finally got to doing it. It turned out awesome. And... It turned out so good that Don decided um, he's going to continue to do them. So that's amazing. Um, and then I used um, this beauty right here. And, um, you know, look at look at those. The, the, the craftsmanship on this thing is just I'm trying to get it to focus. Um, the lines on this thing is just truly just a work of art. This thing is just beautiful. Um, and I got my, my base plate, my handle, uh, trying to get a top cap. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What else did we use today? Is that it? Was that it? Oh yeah, let's get, get to the splishity splash. Um, today I got in also, um, e, e Warrior of the Howling Fjord. Um. I had been looking to get it, but you know, I read scent notes and I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. Well, then I was told that it is uh, Creed Silver Mountain Water. Um, Sterling Mountain Man is like one of my favorite Creed dupes and that's Creed Silver Mountain Water. So I jumped on um, Viking Warrior of the Howling Fjord Sterling soap beats it on scent strength. Believe it or not, something actually beats an a &E soap on scent strength. Um, the splash for A&E 
um, beats the Sterling Soap Splash. So, so um, but they both smell freaking amazing. So, wow. Oh, and I got this bad little scoop in. Um, you know, I've been on a tie-dye kick lately. Um, and this black and stuff, tie-dye, um, Smiley is actually making me a handle that's going to be like that. So that's going to be killer. Um, but we'll see y'all next time. Take care. Be safe. Um, and God bless.